partner how are you doing so um i said i'm gonna come live didn't i as much as i can in the mornings and um i had quite a bad headache yesterday but i thought let me come on now good morning um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit this morning about some of the things I'm going to be helping clients focus on, but also some of the things that you may want to focus on in the summer. And actually, there, there are three activities and tactics that I am quite, quite sure many of you are not yet using, but some of you really should be using by now, especially if you've been in business for more than 12 months. So if you've been in business for more than 12 months, whether you're on the live or on the replay, let me know with the number 12 in the comments. If you've been in business for less than 12 months, also stay tuned and I'll make sure that you get some tips. Now, I don't know how many of you are connecting what you're doing on social media to what you're doing on the um, online space, but in terms of your website and also in terms of your email marketing, it's really important that you give some thought to how you're lining your ducks in a row. So when people come to your social media, how can they then have follow up conversations with you? How can they then stay in tune with you off of social media? What options do they have? It's important to think about that. And also just give some thought as well to what relationship you're building on social media and where they are taking you or where you are taking them. Good morning. How are you doing? So one of the things that I often recommend for this is actually called email. And it's something that all of us use. There are over four million, I believe, um, uh, emails sent a minute. Uh, or maybe billion emails sent a minute. I'll put the stats in on the on the video when I do the captions. But in any case, most of us have email access, whether we're using it from our mobile devices, our laptops, our iPads, we are using emails. And so I want you to think about how your business can start using emails more effectively as one of the things that you might want to focus on over the summer. And then think about what content you can send over the summer, particularly if you are going to be taking a break from your business. Scheduling emails is a great way to still stay in tune with a list and still stay in contact maybe a better word, with people that are interested in your products and services. So if you do events, if you go out regularly to expos, if you do speaking engagements, if you've ever attended a networking event and taken people's business cards, where they have opted, good morning, where they've opted for you to actually have um, more contact with them and to keep them informed, use their email, actually get permission to use their email, use their email and send them information. So what I'm going to do is actually just quickly put that in the chat. And I'm also going to mention as well two, um, two activities, two platforms that I be believe you can use if you're new anyway to using email. So let me get that up now. I'm going to put these in here. The first one is MailChimp, although I'm not going to lie, I'm actually getting bored of MailChimp now. They've made a few changes that are making my life a little bit difficult. So I'm going to say MailChimp. And I'm also going to say constant contact. And there are others as well. So let's just put those two in. Any of you want to have a look at those. I'm not endorsing those products, but I am recommending that you check them out. Okay. All right. The other thing I'm going to suggest is aside from email marketing, think about what you can do in terms of follow up, relevant to follow up by means of actually staying in touch by phone. Now, this could be SMS text. This could be WhatsApp messaging, because I know some of you like WhatsApp messaging, even though I hate it. And it could also be um, telephone groups. So having broadcast groups on platforms or apps or marketing tools that will allow you to connect with more than one person via a message or broadcast using your telephone or what we call a mobile device, right? So if you've got a smartphone, tablet, etc., you can usually do that via mobile telephony. So the second marketing activity I want you to give some thought to for the summer is marketing using your mobile, your mobile device, your, your smartphone device, whatever you've got. OK, and if you want to do things like send out broadcasts with offers, with coupon codes, with updates, telling people when you are going live, um, sharing information or useful links with people, resources for the summer with people, you can do that really easily through a mobile phone. And I know of people that have sold tickets through WhatsApp groups. I know of people that have shared links through WhatsApp groups about events that are coming up um, and also useful information, even warnings and, and pre-warning people about things that are coming up. So think about how you can use your mobile device and some of the numbers in your phone or numbers of your clients and customers 
where they have actually agreed for you to contact them using mobiles because some of us think like oh no i don't want to use mobile or some of us actually don't use mobile because we haven't considered the benefits of using mobile but if there's one thing i know about email which is what i mentioned in point number one and mobile phones which is what i mentioned in point number two most of us use both okay so whether you're an avid mobile user or whether you are someone that actually uses your emails every day and most of us are accessing emails every day whether on a mobile phone or on a laptop email and and, and also mobile marketing is really really important because i'm sure you can let me know in the comments um what your business is and where you're watching from good morning i'm sure that you will be familiar that actually when someone wants to email you, whether it's a retail outlet, high street bank, uh, whether it's someone you've contacted about styling, whatever it is, they usually will. If they're quite far down in their business journey, they'll have email set up. You'll be on their mailing list. You may have even signed up for their emails and they'll be emailing you. Um, yesterday, I read about a brand that I think closed over 200 percent revenue uh, by doing digital marketing, using email marketing, and they actually did more than more than a month's business in one day by just using email marketing. And that's how powerful email is. And what I don't want you to do is to think about email or, or get worried about email near Christmas, because that's what a lot of you do when you work with me. You haven't yet had email, you know you need email, and you literally wait until November to set email up. Let's get your email set up in the summer. And if you need help, just message me. I've got whole courses on, on email marketing and also on how you can use social media and integrate it with email and also how you can use um, mobile telephony with marketing to actually enhance the way in which you communicate with your clients and customers. And then my third point, which is something I'm going to be looking into myself, is website marketing. So if your website, which mine does need a bit of a rehash, a bit of a refresh, you, some of your links may not be working, some of your information may be out of date, I would definitely recommend that you look at your website. So three things you can do on your website, update out-of-date content, review all of your links, and also add some new content to your website. Maybe add some content around summer marketing campaigns that you're doing. Maybe add some content about what's coming up after summer. If you're a brand that has back to school um, activities or services or products, promote those now. Even though it's not September yet or August yet, promote it now. Um, and think about how you can interact with your audience. So on your website, have you got a way that they can sign up to your email marketing, which leads to point number one and on your website have you got a way that you can use a chatbot or a mobile messaging facility which is integrated into your website to allow you to continue conversations beyond your website using mobile telephony these are just some of the things and i'm just keeping it very brief today but three ways in which you can actually look at focusing on new marketing activities that you will need at some point are mentioned in today's video let me know which of the three you may go away and focus on and also let me know if you're already using some and what results you're getting in that personally i am using all three of the things that i've mentioned i'm also going to be doing some work as well on my own website um, alongside my website designer so stay tuned if you're not already on the blog visit insights to marketing.com forward slash blog where you can access lots of comments uh comments feedback um, also information, blogs and videos around marketing. And if you're on my YouTube, you can access at least three 2023 summer marketing videos. So go ahead and check those out. Let me know what you think of today's tips. What might you go in action? Let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.